Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Editorial. In this uh, sub series, we are looking at C Sharp Reflection and how to make a method call through C Sharp Reflection. In the last video, we invoked a static method. Now we will continue and invoke a member method. So invoking a member method involves constructing the object that means we will see how to invoke the constructor then we will see how to make a call to the member function via the instantiated object so here we will see uh, just like previous video we will use a reflection that means uh, using reflection we will load the assembly and after that we will perform the task one by one So in the first video, we created the DLL for experiment purpose. After that, we talked about the example and how the flow will go for static method as well as member function invocation. In the last video, we invoked the static method and we also looked at the sequence. Once we have method info, the key here is uh, there are two key method, get method from type, after that invoke on the method info. Now let's look at invoking the member function. If you see here, we are going to call this multiply method. This is not a static method, it's a member method. So to call this method, we need to create instance and uh, that instance sh should uh, have internal member number one number two initialized via constructor so once you invoke multiply we will be using the internal member and uh, printing the result as well as returning it so in the btn multiple click and if you see these two steps are same as previous we load the dll so dll will get loaded at runtime and we are storing the assembly then we are getting the type so we have our simple math in hand and it is there in the cls then we are so last time we created the array then uh, we populated the member one by one using the indexing operator here if you see we created the array as well as initialized it type array new type here itself we are uh, populating the array okay this is simply uh, array related concept here we are declaring the array and initializing it now our uh, type also ready cls dot previously we got the method this time we are using the method get constructor we are not retrieving the method but we are getting the constructor for the constructor we are passing this argument why we are passing the argument because a constructor can also be overloaded we can have simple math constructor that takes two integer parameter we can have a constructor that doesn't take any parameter at all or we can have a constructor that take a different number of parameters so overloading a constructor is possible that's why we are supplying the argument to tell what exact version of constructor i am going to call so with this argument type array we locate a correct version of constructor and now we have constructor in hand via constructor info instance so all this constructor info in the last video we talked about a method info all are exposed via uh, system data reflection that's why we included that namespace in the previous video itself all right so we have a constructor info after that for the constructor we need to pass the object array right value we need to pass the value so that's what so here sequence 2 we retrieved the constructor 
then we are supplying the argument for the constructor and invoking it just like method if you see here we are populating the object we are making use of our uh, form instance to retrieve the text box content value then constructor dot invoke ctr param when you invoke constructor what you will get is a instance of the object that's why the return type here object right return type is object and we just named this as a simple math instance that means we created the instance it's just like uh, simple math obj equal to new simple math that's what we did here obj obj is ready right simple math instance now math instance is ready next we need to make a call to multiply method luckily this multiply method doesn't take any parameter if it takes parameter then in the sequence we will be getting a type as well as uh, 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 forming the argument values so multiply it doesn't take any parameter so what we do we already have class this is the class right where is the class so here is the class we already have the class from class we first invoke the constructor that's the sequence why because we need to instantiate the object once we have constructor info in hand from constructor info we make a call to invoke that means we are constructing the object once the object is constructed then we will be retrieving the methods he here once again we are using the cls cls means delay load ledl simple math this is our class class dot get method multiply and we need to tell it doesn't take any parameter so that's why here we are making use of type dot empty types that means there is no argument for this multiply so that means here the reflection runtime will go and pick this method perfectly right so now we have method info and you know what we need to do we need to make a call to invoke so method dot invoke the important stuff is previously we specified a null for the first argument that means we invoked a static method instance is not required but here instance is required so where is this instance instance we already constructed here it is through constructor we invoked the instance so we are telling use this instance and invoke method method is multiply so it's simply if this is obj obj dot multiply right that's what here we are doing via reflection method info we have method info dot invoke use the instance i already constructed that then that's all argument is null here but if it is having some argument say string to string then you have to construct the argument array type args new type of uh, uh, string string then you have to supply the value then that will go here all right so sequence one sequence two sequence four here calling the method so the method will return so the method will return a result and that result we are adding it to our multi-line text box like we did previously so sequence one just like our previous so here load assembly sequence to form the argument type and get the constructor sequence three call the constructor or instantiate the object sequence 4 is getting the method and calling it get method and call right so if method needs argument array then 
before calling the method we should go with uh, two more uh, a sequence let's say s3 a s3 b 3a will be forming the argument type array then forming the value array so using the argument type array you will make a call to get method after that once it is uh, retrieved then you will supply the uh, second parameter with the value array right here since we specified the empty type that resolves the multiply easily but if multiply takes parameter then you need to go with uh, specifying the parameter and uh, constructing the value all right now we will go to the demo and call the member function so this is where we left uh, previously now we will go to our form design this time we will invoke multiply and as usual here we are loading the assembly and retrieving the type then resolving the argument type to invoke the constructor this time we are making use of get constructor and previously we used a get method so get constructor constructor is in hand then we are supplying the value from our text box making call to invoke constructor dot invoke that means we are constructing the instance and the object is in hand so the object is in hand in the sense it invoked the constructor and if you look at the constructor simple math constructor it takes two parameter and initializes the internal member that means number one and number two is initialized when you invoke the constructor now we need to make a call to method the instance was initialized by this constructor invocation and the instance is having the valid value in the two internal private members note we are not touching the private member directly we are invoking the constructor only and the constructor was declared as a public here right so we can invoke the constructor all right once constructor is invoked let me save it once constructor is invoked get method we already know about it so multiply empty type it will invoke this multiply or it resolves this method and we retrieve that method and we have that uh, in hand method info then we are making call to that method we specify that this is the instance why because we are calling the method and method will expect two internal members so to resolve that we are supplying the instance name why because you can instance shared multiple object also so when you are invoking the method by supplying the instance which was previously constructed you will be giving all the internal members to the method multiply that means here since you are passing the correct instance whatever is initialized as part of this param list that will be available for this uh, multiply method that means it make a call to multiply with a correct instance all right so simple math instance we are supplying which we already constructed no parameter and it will make a call to multiply multiply will multiply two internal members and prints the result as well as it will return the multiplied result multiplied result will be stored here in the result and we are using that to display the content in our uh, multiply text box and inside the method we also have a debug dot print i mean debug dot write line that will output this stuff in the console window all right now we will test this i will clear the output window so that you can see the result now i'm giving 10 here and 11 here the multiplied result will be 110 
invoke member and it invoked the member multiply result is 110 and you can see that's printed here and you can see our dll dll was loaded by the exe after that it invoked the constructor instantiated the object then made call to the method both are working right all right that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye